you're about to see is real. All video and audio was captured at an actual paranormal investigation. Nothing has been manufactured or staged. On this episode of Local Haunts, the team continues their investigation of the Museum of Southern History. Pamela came in contact with the spirit of a Civil War enthusiast that haunts the museum. They captured EVPs and even amazing images on camera. What more will they find as they conclude their investigation of the museum? Find out as we explore Local Haunts. Hello and welcome to Local Haunts. I'm your host, Steve Christian. Joining me as usual is my co-host, spiritual medium, Pamela Teresa, along with Julie and Dax Slade and Olga Gikas. And on cameras, Joe Talentino of I Know Jax and Savannah Huffingham. And from the museum, James Langley and Jim Schillinglaw. And the investigation starts right now. Previously, we caught some amazing photo captures of a spirit that gives his name as Raymond, a former pawnbroker that haunts the museum because of his love of history and the Civil War. You can move around, um, I'll go if you want to see if you can't get it from that other angle as well, just rolling. Yeah, I'm actually seeing some orbs flying by. Okay, good. We had a total of four cameras pointing at Pamela and Raymond, her spirit friend. What you're about to see are not bugs, as bugs flying around would be visible on all four cameras. However, spirit can be seen on only one camera and not the others. Why? Because different cameras see into the light spectrum differently. So what may be visible to one may not be visible to the others. Anybody else see something as he's taking the picture, speak up. Because most likely they'll go, oh, I just got it too. Keep in mind, out of the four cameras, only this one was seeing these orbs flying around Pamela. Bugs would have been visible on all of them, not just the one. This is spirit movement caught on purpose with their cooperation. Oh, Raymond just went and stood right by you when you said that. Oh, he's excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch now. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're far, but... I'm not catching anything. Keep going, keep going, don't give up. I did get one orb. Hold on, back up a little bit, or move forward, or move to the side, you know, a little bit, or different. Not too bad, I think you're... <laughs> Just one right by you. Uh-huh. Just under your neck. Oh, that's all dark. Sorry, I was trying to make, turn it to red. Okay. Well, I'm getting nothing but black now. Okay. Try to turn it to red. Which is bizarre. It's like it just sucks up all my flash. Okay, well, we'll go with black then. There you go. Okay. <laughs> See? There we go. One of Pamela's gifts is that she is, along with being a spiritual medium and an empath, she is also a physical medium, which means she can use her energy to help spirits manifest. She can also manipulate light and color energy. She can, at will, make my pictures all blue, red, or green, or black by manipulating those energies. My camera. So he and I are just having this little conversation telepathically, and I'm like, look, I honor you in your job, you honor me in my job, so just stand here and <laughs> do what I say. Look pretty. <laughs> come on, Raymond, can you please show us something? Stay put for a minute, just stand still. Everybody come on up here, I'm talking earthbound realms. Stand for, let's, let's get the photo shot. The group shot there. A group shot of all the... Uh... Uh -huh. Invisible folk here. Oh, Raymond just went and stood right by you yeah. when you said that. Oh, he's excited about that. Yes. <laughs> if you look closely to the left of Pamela, you will see misty forms moving around. This is Raymond trying to show himself for the camera. He is standing exactly where Pamela said he is. This is validation of spirit cooperation. Raymond is posing for the cameras. 
But you haven't seen anything yet. Okay, so we got a Georgia person in here. Coming up on Local Haunts, a spirit from the South's darkest days remains. Actually, wow, that's weird. We have a slave. Raymond, where are you from? Wisconsin. He's a cheesehead. A cheesehead? Are you a Packer fan? He's probably saying, what the hell is a Packer? What he did was he frowned when he said Packer. Ah, are you a Viking fan? <laughs> What's going fan? on with the Packers? Are you a Viking fan? Yes. Yes? Mm-hmm. All right. What does that have to do with Vikings, though? That's uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin are right next to each other, and there's a lot of... Uh, I heard other ones here saying to him he's a traitor. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, he's on the wrong side of the border. But, yeah, there's a big rivalry between the Packers and the Vikings. Okay. And Because they're so close. And, um, ish. Okay, so he's definitely got a good hold of my hand here, and he's, def he's trying to get a hold of my ring finger, my right ring finger. Is he trying to take your ring off? I don't have a ring <laughs> Yeah. So, go ahead, don't worry, you can't hurt me, just let's get some good, you know, we want to see a good, um, oh, big one just right past your hand. Stand, he's really kind of literally in my right leg as well, too. And you got camera guys catching anything? No. Mm, nothing I could see. Hmm. Olga's hogging all the capture. Way to I'm go. I'm filming the whole thing. So Thank you, Billy. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not doing stills. Are you shooting full spectrum? Or? Yeah. Oh, cool, well, that's probably why. And it's movie. I'm not doing stills. All right. Yahoo! You're going to be a movie star! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna wind this down. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You got some really cool. Somebody just touched my back. Oh, <laughs> I bet they did. <laughs> I also have two recorders rolling the little so red lights. Up, it might work better if Olga's hogging it. Yes. Oh, there we go. Look at that one. Wow. Hello. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That's beautiful. That was, I saw that in my movie. It was a giant one that went upwards. That's amazing. Okay. Is there another area that's on? Pretty much our group is following us around, so I mean, we could. Dax, where you at? Right here. You felt something weird in that room in there, right? Just so you can t t definitely tell the difference in that room when you walk through the pre threshold from this room. And Julie was in there, she said she felt it too. Yeah, it almost felt like, I don't know if it was the tongue guy or not, but it was uh -huh. a weird feeling from right here from my jaw all the way down. Yeah, that's what it feels like when you get to cut. 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 So that was the tongue. <laughs> 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 that got you talking about? But, but yeah, well, yeah, yeah. When he stepped in, as when he started talking or mumbling to me or whatever, I started picking up. It was when you were talking to me about the picture over there, where the name's not right on that. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Raymond started coming in and jibber jabbering. So, uh, but I've not. I deliberately. I have not gone back into that space. I observed that, but I. Um, I didn't go back into that space. There we go. Sure, why not? I wish I could see where I would step in here. Wow, that's weird. We have a slave. 
Oh, very oh, cool. <laughs> no relation. A slade or a slave? A V E. Oh. A slave. Oh. Well, that makes sense as to why your tongue's cut out. Oh, my God. <sighs> Coming up on Local Haunts. Um, yeah. Was your father, who was the mechanic? That's my stepdad. Okay. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing validations with spiritual medium Pamela Teresa. You yeah. did mention before you came, she's got to prove that. Uh -huh. She's got to prove, prove it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow! And I think you're pretty much proving yeah, it. Yeah, you, you got it all day long. Do you want to do a real quick UVP? Yes. I know it's not going to make sense, but maybe we'll be able to get through. Can you not speak? You can talk even though you don't have your tongue, you know. UVP sessions, Museum of Southern History. This device right here with the red light records sound. It can record your voice. Could you please? Are you able to speak up and say your name? Probably had a lot of abuse. Were you on a plantation in Georgia? Okay, did somebody come from Kingsley, Kingsley. to here recently? Was somebody that was coming in here and, and that toured this place? Pamela picked up that the spirit of the slave came from Kingsley Plantation, a location that she and I have personally visited. This explains the EDP that we caught that said they recognized her from before. An interesting validation. Jim Schillinglaw with the museum validated that he recently had been to Kingsley Plantation. Had the spirit of the slave come with him to the museum? So that's that free will aspect of when you're ready to go. People are earthbound for a lot of different reasons. Well, if you had the trauma he experienced, he was actually for a long time experiencing, and there's quite a few of them out there that still think they're slaves because it was such a traumatic existence. They were so much yeah. more physical. Well, they get into, um, when I say the groundhog thing, you're doing the same thing every day, you're constantly working on the farm, constantly thinking about the farm. And then once you're not on the farm anymore, that's all you think about is on right, the farm. Right, right. So, a lot of farmers today have that simplex. You, you know, know where you a lot of the hangings useless. happened? Um, they were talking, I did go there once, twice with him. Actually, not where people think. Not the tree oh. that they talk about, but actually closer to the buildings. There's some trees mm -hmm. out there. Have I they heard some people was hung, but I, I didn't know where or anything. By, they did it for, you know, they brought it to their home, is what they were talking to me about, the, the, and the visions that I had when I was there. They brought it right there to where they actually had to kind of squeeze in and live. Oh, that would make sense because... Wasn't that, a demonstration it, closer to the big house. Because you wanted, this is a symbol to the slaves, hey, you mess around, this is what you're going to get. Exactly, so, so yeah, so to remember, so they would always remember, even sleeping, looking at that tree. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a very psychological thing. And another creepy area of that place, really creepy, is a place where the benches are, where benches where you think they might have worshipped. No. <laughs> that was a nasty place in there. I mean, that was some really mm. bad mojo that went down mm. there, too, as well. Because well, traditionally in the South, they used to take their slaves with them to church. Either they sat on the last bench of pews or they had a balcony, they'd sit in the balcony of the, of the church. Demonstrations were had in that church. What, against slavery or for or punishment Demonst of slavery? Punishment, or? demonstration, oh. public demonstration of public punishment of what could happen yeah. to you. So that was a scary day. So you think that's where the guy might have got his tongue cut off? or? Uh, pretty much, yeah. That's that definitely. Yeah, I'm getting a good nod on that. Coming up on Local Haunts. Um, yeah. Was your father, who was the mechanic? That's my stepdad. Okay. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing validations with spiritual medium Pamela Teresa. What you're about to see is an actual spiritual read recorded in a group session by medium Pamela Teresa. Pamela had no prior knowledge of the gentleman she was reading. All information came from the other side through his deceased mother. 
the gentleman in this read was a complete skeptic. Sit back and marvel at the amazing gifts of Pamela Teresa. Who liked the seltzer water? I'm also getting the plop plop fizz fizz, but the seltzer water or the water, the water that's like sparkling water, I'm getting the vision of the green, uh, or is it green? Yeah. Perrier. How do we? How Perrier. Do we, Perrier. Yeah, Perrier. I'm getting, somebody's giving me that bottle. Your mom in spirit? Yeah. Okay, so she's coming through. She just okay. So that's her. Okay, the Perrier. Okay, so this is how she comes through with the Perrier. <laughs> I believe it. Absolutely. Um, was your mom's life taken? Um, who are you connected to with the female whose life was taken? Was life was taken? Taken. Taken. Foul play, murder. Oh, Angie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your, it's your, she's your aunt. She's my auntie. She's your auntie. Somewhat. Of course she is. Don't be dissing on her in that way. She's, <laughs> she's claiming. No, no, that, that's my dog. My <laughs> okay, because they're bringing in domestic violence. These two women are. are yeah, my mom. In. That's my mom. Okay. My real dad is um. Beat up something yeah. like. Well, we're talking beat the crap out of. It it's serious beating up. Yeah. How long has it been since your mom passed? She died in '09. She's giving five years. We're coming up on five years. Does she have five kids? If she did, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No. My daddy probably, my daddy got five kids. There's five kids. So we have five kids? Yeah. She's talking about five kids. Um, have you gone back to school? Who, me? Yeah. Don't be looking like that. She's saying, get, thinking about getting back into school. There's something that you're yeah. doing as further education. Because I would uh, do what she wanted me to do, culinary. Get in arts. there. This this makes she's sense. Be a cook. I was a little freaked out when she's showing me the knives here. I'm like, <laughs> 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 she's like, okay, just tell him to do what he needs to be. Get in, go. You'll get the help you need, but you need to get this education with it because you have a beautiful talent and gift. You've got the tongue, you've got the taste, but you need to get the. Um, there will be a way. Have you been trying to find that way? But you will be getting the help to find that way. But there's certain steps that you need to take to get there is what she's talking about. Exactly. So get a halfway. Okay. Yeah. So uh, uh okay, somebody was talking about New Orleans earlier today, but is there a New Orleans connection with you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a place called Virginia College. It's on the corner of Beach and University. Yeah. Where we used to be in Albertsons. Uh huh. And they have a call in art school. They got, they, got, uh, they got a kitchen there. Yes. They have a very nice facility. It's a whole new yeah. world. It's time for you to really see your potential. And financial aid is available for if you qualify. So. Yeah, I'll qualify. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> shout out. Listen up. Now's the time to do it. You don't ask, you don't get it. Um, yeah. Was your father, who was the mechanic? That's my stepdad. Okay. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, people. Stop, Louis. You're tripping everybody out. You yeah. did mention before you came, she's got to prove that. Uh -huh. She's got to prove, prove it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow! And I think you're pretty much proving yeah, it. Yeah, you, so. you got it. All day long. <laughs> well, and this is definitely your mom I'm wanting to make sure that you get your butt over to the school and really start because this is this is sad that you would be wasting this talent because people would be able to enjoy and the beauty of your creation now food is heart food is soul this is Everything look, food for you and creating <laughs> food yeah and creating food is is for you uh, like if you're a musician and not playing the instrument it's art it's art and so when you when you lose your dream when you lose your passion and then then, then life becomes Stagnant, it becomes flatline, and that's what she's showing me. So, where were you when you saw the flatline? 
Where's the flat line? In the hospital. Is that you? The flat line. Yeah. Oh! That's that's her death. Okay, you were there. I was in the room when she died. I saw the flat line. That's why she's choking it out. So basically, it falls on your shoulders, and this is what she's talking about. She's getting serious now. It falls on your shoulders to show the leader. If you or someone you know would like to contact Pamela Teresa for a group or private read, or even arrange for a phone read, contact her at mediumintheraw.com or call 904-238-4359 and schedule your session and reconnect to your departed loved ones in spirit and experience the healing and uplifting gift for yourself. Thank <laughs> you.